Beautiful. Oh, you got a mic. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Most of you would know that Heather and Brandon met through mutual friends, Ryan and Kendra, at the Saskatchewan International Raceway's 50th anniversary weekend of drag racing. <laughs> Heather was at the racetrack with Kendra, and Brandon was also there. Kendra and the right circumstances were in place and the two of them connected in a way that could never have been predicted. Brandon's ex also showed up at the track <laughs> that day, and Heather conveniently became Brandon's pretend racetrack girlfriend to help keep the ex away. Brandon tells me that they forgot it was supposed to be temporary, and yet here they are. Heather also tells me that their fake relationship helped keep a few of the matchmakers that are probably in the crowd tonight happy. Little does Brandon and Heather know that this was exactly what those matchmakers would have seen for this outcome. Heather and Brandon, for the past six years, you have built a strong foundation for your relationship based on honesty and respect. You have found joy in each other's company and you have become better, more fulfilled people because of that connection. However, when a relationship matures, it's easy to become complacent. So it's important to remember not to take your partner for granted or to neglect your relationship. Instead, give priority to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that you each deserve. Remember to write love notes, give each other massages, go kiss in the rain, take time to travel, and enjoy the serenity of nature together. Whatever you do, just enjoy being together. There will be difficulties ahead, in every marriage, but if you face them as a couple with a strong sense of love, perspective, and mutual support, you will not only survive, but thrive. Brandon, did you know that Heather was initially attracted to your smile and your sense of humor? She says you have this ability to just have fun and that you have this easygoing nature. As you were getting to know each other, she realized how different your hobbies were from each other but quickly realized that the two of you were willing to do as much as you could for each other, even if you may not always have wanted to do it. Even through the distance, you managed to make time for one another, whether in person or by phone. She tells me that the two of you make an amazing team. Between the two of you, with your professional responsibilities, your dogs, and your extracurricular commitments, your schedules are jam-packed. But where one of you can't do something, she tells me that the other just steps in to cover it without a second guess. You two work hard, but I hear you also play hard. And your willingness to help tackle everything as a team is what helps keep your home life running smoothly. Heather, Brandon was initially attracted to your sense of humor and how you put up with his sense of humor. <laughs> You came to his rescue that first day. He loves your caring nature. He says it doesn't matter who it is, you always make time to help someone. You put up with him, and he says that speaks volumes about you if you can put up with his sarcastic nature. He loves making sure you have coffee when you wake up in the morning. He enjoys going to races, rider games, and just to go grab a bite to eat with you. He also enjoys going to catch up at that occasional movie with you 
but he tells me you are known to fall asleep within five minutes. <laughs> you have both been blessed to find the person who fits you so well.
every piece Day after day 